how did ASEAN achieve success? What was your journey like? Yeah. Was it overnight success, as oh. people believe? I guess people never know the story before the glory. Oh yeah. That's one sure. line that I've gotten from Saudi Soul's song. Mm -hmm. And uh, being in this space mm -hmm. the past years, mm, I've mm -hmm. got to experience that mm -hmm. because people just saw that one thing and they're like, "This is what made you." Mm -hmm. And you're like, "When did you begin all this?" Right. My journey began when I was born. So ASEAN's overnight success took around 14, 15 years. <laughs> oh yes, it did. Mm, yeah, you know. So okay. <laughs> So I couldn't talk over it success. Mm -mm. You sound like someone who's been running the entire life. Like you've been, you have this thing that's I don't know chasing you or you're running towards. Nini, why are you so hungry for success? I've always been on my feet. Yeah. I think I just want to give myself a good life. Mm. I just want to fulfill my desires as an individual right. i have certain desires i have a certain life i want to give myself i have certain things i want to achieve and there's no way i'm letting my parents down you get me yeah classmates welcome to another class i am so excited because um this my next guest is someone um Gen Z's have been requesting a lot, but I'll get to that. So we're still filming at uh, Longer Dot Place. Please come check them out. They have amazing furnished apartments. Manzuki wanna form your weekend. Come check it out. Um, yeah, my next guest is called the TikTok Queen, and you know she's been blazing. She's if you go online anytime, anywhere, you'll see someone discussing her, and I was super excited to meet her. Aziad, yeah. Ukofiti. Yes. Ukofiti, Nikofiti, oi, oi. That was a song, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nikofiti, oi, oi. I don't know why uh -huh. I've remembered it now, but it's familiar. Uh -huh. I think it was a song. Um, I'll tell you why I asked you to come over. And thank you for honoring my invite. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, so I do this thing where I go to campuses and we talk to people. And I was at the University of Nairobi last uh -huh. year, sometime last year. And then me, I'm here telling them, oh, you know... Uh, you know you have to work hard for Sijui 10 years before you achieve certain type of success yeah. you know the usual things you tell them work yes. hard be disciplined consistency and then one lady just raised their hand and they're like Philip we understand that used to work for you guys in your generation but for me I'm the same age as Aziad and Yves Mongai and they are living the life yeah, si do na niambia nini. I was like, okay. Yeah. Maybe it's something I need to be comfortable with that mm -hmm. um, times have changed, generations have changed, but I still believe that there's nothing like overnight success and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm going to try and get Asia on mm -hmm. my show mm -hmm. and have this conversation yeah. and understand how does how did Asia achieve success? What was your journey like? Yeah. Was it overnight success as Ooh. people believe? Ooh. I guess people never know the story before the glory. Oh, yeah. That's one sure. line that I've gotten from Saudi Soul's song. Mm -hmm. And uh, being in this space mm -hmm. the past years, mm, I've mm -hmm. got to experience that mm -hmm. because people just saw that one thing and they're like, this is what made you. Mm -hmm. And you're like, when did you begin all this? Right. My journey began when I was born. And mm -hmm. I've seen it mm -hmm. as, um, I never knew that this is where I'd get at this point in life. Yeah. So just looking back and dressing back, I'm like, ha. Huh, I think that is why my things happened like that. Because mm -hmm. in primary, I was an active kid. I mm -hmm. was in entertainment. I was in mm -hmm. drama. I was in music festival. Mm -hmm. In high school, the same. I went to nationals. I did, I don't know how many solo verses. Right. I was the only form four who was allowed to be in drama. Right. When I joined Kenya Mass, I won Best Actor as a fresher. As in, these things yeah. have always followed me. Mm -hmm. So I've basically been working on it for the longest time. And even after my form four, that was 2017, 2018, I joined theater. Mm -hmm. So I was doing theater. I was struggling with my YouTube with really terrible quality <laughs> videos right. and a right. big shout out to Martin Gidinji mm -hmm. because that Imato allowed or rather accepted to be in my video that time nilikona film tu na kasimu flani hata sikakumbuki jina the quality was crazy yeah. and i think that video is still in my youtube it's still on my youtube channel right. and that was sometime in 2018 right. so i was struggling with that 2018, 2019 at least, um, an aunt of mine gifted me a really good phone on my birthday. Okay. So that's when I started content on TikTok. Right. And I did that for a while. And then boom, the viral video happened in April. Yeah. But I see somebody who's just followed my journey from April will be like, oh my, this was an overnight success. Yeah. But somebody who's been in my life all through mm -hmm. has seen the steps and the progress and the mm -hmm. work that I've put in over time, over the yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Whenever uh, I get artists on my set and I ask them, especially the younger ones, yeah. um, 
have you been acting before? They only say, no, I'm just starting out. But nilikuwa nafanya drama shule. And I keep telling them, mtu yangu, ataka ilikuwa play. Yes. Eh, ataka ulikuwa prop, ulikuwa mti, ukiwa yes. primary school in drama. Yeah. That is still practice. It is. How, can you remember at, at what point you started acting? Can you remember at what point you started being an entertainer? Which yeah. class? Which year? Ooh, mm. I can't, oh, oh my. Mm. I think for the longest time, I'm not mm. even kidding. Yeah. I was that kid when you keep kukikuwa na noisemaker that was dancing in front of the class or she was acting or something. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. mm. I was in Katsum till class three. Yeah. And then I was in drum. Guy, I, I think for the longest time, I can't trace it back. Yeah, yeah, but so, I, I can remember up to yeah. like class two, class three. Wow, so to say, me apo kuna like uh, seven, eight years in primary yes. school, another four, it's around twelve years. Okay, thirteen. Yeah, and then yeah. after, then you joined uh, Kenya National Theatre. These yes. are these are theatre groups. Hearts group. of Art. Yes, Hearts of Art was uh, my theatre So you group. did like was it like seven plays or something before? Oh, we did a lot of plays because yeah. I remember that this time yeah. I had just gone for my attachment in uh, Mombasa, mm-hmm. Kenya News Agency, mm-hmm. and we were having a play here in Nairobi. So I would travel mm-hmm. overnight, kukujana basi, to find rehearsals. Right. Sande, right. job as in it was crazy. Right. Yeah, so we did a lot of plays at the Kenya National Theatre, yeah. Alliance Francais, Power 254. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so as it's overnight success took around 14, 15 years. <laughs> oh, yes, it did. Mm, yeah, you know, so, okay. So, hakuna kitu kawa overnight success. Uwa mstana Irish na zakumfuka jina. Itaikumbu kanta kutafuta. But man, um, so... You feel you, you sound like someone who's been running the entire life like you've been, you have this thing that's I don't know chasing you or you're running towards nini nini why are you so hungry for success I've always been on my feet yeah. I think I just want to give myself a good life mm. mm-hmm. I just want to fulfill my desires as an individual right. I have certain desires I have a certain life I want to give myself I have certain things I want mm-hmm. to achieve and there's no way I'm letting my parents down you get me yeah so yeah. I think these are those things that just keep me going what was your childhood like how did you grow up what was your home like what were your daily practices then um <laughs> yo my childhood was entertaining okay. because I've always been an entertainer right Right. It was fun. Right. I spent most of my childhood in boarding school, actually. Oh, so yeah, okay. I was in boarding school since class six, right. all the way to form four. Okay. So most of the time, I was in boarding school. Right. But I spent a lot of time with my grandparents as well, mm-hmm. and I think that is the reason as to why I love rumba and lingala. So rumba na lingala. Vibaya sana. I don't think there's a song you can put, and then I'll tell you I don't know. So what you're going to like? Oh, Baba, Baba. I'm like, yes, that's my grandfather we're talking about. You know, Baba for life. Yeah. Because I love the songs because of them. So, yeah, I think my childhood was... Who was, who was the artist in your family? Who did you see a lot being the entertainer? A funny thing, yeah. in my family, we don't have an entertainer. However, mm-hmm. most of the people in my family, from my mom mm-hmm. to my dad mm-hmm. to my aunts, they've both done music and yeah. drama in school. Right. But I think after that, um, then they had to be doctors and accountants and whatever. Right. Right. So they literally went to do, or rather they literally did what they studied in school, mm-hmm. but they didn't focus on like doing things mm-hmm. that went hand in hand with their talent. Right. Yes. But all of them, actually, they participated in, those things okay. so i think that's where i got it from okay yeah mm, shout out to your mom you <laughs> mentioned her. i i met her in germany oh you did <laughs> yes. how is she she's so cool right yeah she is mti yangu alitufanya to smuggle omena ka kokeni mti yangu oh by them guy mlipeleke omena mti yangu story is <laughs> deep una bird una bird na choma una choma i think i'll come me Getuona kwa airport ah, kidu hizo ah, security checks. Okay, siko na zua. By the way, kawa. Yeah 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 yeah. Nataka kujua mlikuwa mnazinini hiyo because I've never watched Breaking Bad. So I was just watching how they exchange drugs. Mlikuwa mfanya you know, zile za. Mtu yangu I think we'll we'll talk to Kawa. Ta Kawa ju. By the way, after tume learn German ndo anyambe bro. Eh. Manzi niko na omena kwa baba. <laughs> Mtu yangu sasa tungeshiki iko. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> 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 Na unga ugali. I can trust me she loves unga. 
yo uh, yo uh, all right <laughs> uh, i was like yeah this uh, yeah so i've seen how drugs can be tried. anyway <laughs> i'm kidding, I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. so you've been appointed the official global ambassador for save our future campaign yes. you've had an international e people's choice awards in the african social star category ntiangu how does this make you feel at Oof. your age man who i am i am honored yeah. i'm yeah. grateful right. i'm humble right. and i think one thing that i always pray to god till date mm-hmm. that i've always prayed to god is that let all this never get into my head for me to lose my my original self to, right. to lose myself right. in such of all this in such of success in such of um giving myself the love the life that i want not to lose myself and mm-hmm. also to just remain humble mm-hmm. but by humble is relative yeah You yeah. can be humble mm-hmm. but not be stepped on but kuna kukuwa mm-hmm. humble yenye mpaka unapotelelea now that no hiyo ni kwa hiyo ni kwa mtu hiyo ni kwa humble <laughs> yes yeah. so those yeah. are the things that i've always prayed to god mm-hmm. and i am just grateful am i where i want to be not yet not yet um yeah. i am grateful to where i am mm-hmm. and yeah that is why i think we wake up every day at 4 am and just keep in the and put in the work right do you feel like you're missing out on a regular 20 Two, twenty-three year olds life. Oh, but Cause, of because you're not a regular <laughs> person. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. but of course I'm definitely missing out on some things. Right. Um, are there things that I can live with? Mm. Yes. Okay. However, sometimes I'm just like I just wish I just wish I could just go out there and just walk in the market mm-hmm. and do certain things. You get me? Right. As in those two right. things that you can just do. Yeah. I can, I can no longer shop. I can no longer walk into a supermarket mm-hmm. and shop freely without. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. I'm not yeah. complaining. I'm just like um. Yeah. There are those sort of things I see my friends doing they right. can go to certain places and I just right. cannot longer do that. But yeah, it's life. Well, what has that done to you? Cuz I if is there anyone who gets trolled as much as you do and I'm, I'm you know like yes. first of all where do you get that strength? Do you mean ninge family toka kwa ikazi nikaenda and you know I'm, where to what pits has that taken you to? Um Whoa, it's it's been crazy. Mm-hmm. I'd say it was crazy in 2020. Right. Um right, it right was, after the viral Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I was just a young girl. I was just finishing my teen years. Mm-hmm. I was just doing what I've been doing since I finished high school, just yeah. doing my TikTok videos. Yeah. And I didn't think I knew there was a thing as cyberbullying. Maybe I knew it, mm-hmm. but I never understood it. Right. I never knew it happens. Mm-hmm. Or rather I did not think about it yeah. mm-hmm. well enough. Mm-hmm. Um so when it happened to me it it really took a toll on me. Mm-hmm. I never knew people would just hate on somebody that they do not know, hate on somebody that has not done anything to you, hate on somebody that is not hurting you. Mm-hmm. Because I think my rules in life are choose kindness. Kindness mm-hmm. does not take away anything from you as an individual. For sure. For sure. And at the end of the day when you do certain things Um, it adds or takes away from you as an individual mm-hmm. so we feel like kuju chukia as you have done some job as well and you have what does it do to you does it add money to your bank account yeah. does it make yeah. you a better individual than me yeah. you get and i think it took it took a toll on me a lot in 2020 i almost fell into depression yeah. but i turned to god a lot i pray a lot i was just like god if there's a reason as to why this is happening then let it be for a very good reason okay. just give me strength to keep on and also i have a very very strong and supportive team behind me yeah. the likes of peter kawa my management mm. g kawa morgan a lot of supportive people right. behind me who are there then who are still there now mm-hmm. and the team has grown as mm-hmm. the years go by now we have kina lc kina mm-hmm. ashley mm-hmm. i mean i could go on frank um abi how big is your team um <laughs> I, i i would have to count yeah, the count mti yangu ni um, yeah go for it we have all the time team yangu ya aziet peke yake ama pia zina you're going to be getting into that yes we are we're going to get into that but yeah combined me, combined Let's okay have. peter kawa grace Peter Kagris Morgan Ashley Mimi Oh Missy Jikout Ah yeah okay to me fika four uh-huh. um LC Agape Abby Frank Mesa Dani Nduta um by the apo kisa wa mtu itakuwa beef ni si sawa mtu eh si sawa mtu tuko na tu ah ah yobi um Get root, get root. Um <laughs> David um 
I think, yeah, we're 11. <laughs> we're wow. 11. We're 11. It, it, it really, they are 11 plus me, 12. 12. It really does take a village. Oh, it does take it, a village. Yeah. It does take those people. Um, they're the reason as to why I am who I am today. Yeah. And it's just it's just amazing to have an amazing team behind me. Yo. It means a lot. So, yeah, it took a toll on me mm. that time. Mm. But these people were just there to help me get through it and definitely my amazing amazing supporters online even till date yeah. when things are going on that mm. those people who just come to my dm and are like as yet i know this and this do not mm. listen i mm. really appreciate you guys it means a lot mm. so even when oh, the thunderstorms are going on mm -hmm. and then you get those two or three people just dming me right it, it means a lot wow yeah something you mentioned and nowadays when when, when i meet a young person and they mention god and yeah. how close they are to god Kidogo na nishoka, because we are living in this world oh. where, <laughs> yeah, religion ni kaa kitu umanze wa siwingi wa natilia. Mm -hmm. uh, and honestly, honestly, it genuinely shocks me when I meet a young person and they are very much in tune and they keep saying they love God, they mm -hmm. go to church. Why <laughs> are you so um, in tune like that? <laughs> Manze? I think people forget God mm. and... It's important to have a relationship with God. I mm. believe in God. Yeah. I believe... Without God, I'd not be here. Right. The things and how events have unfolded in my life, I cannot explain it. I can yeah. say it's me. Of course, it's me. I mean, I've right. worked hard. Yeah. I've put myself out there. I've put in the effort and the time. Mm. But there's definitely something behind it. Right. Because sometimes you go to sleep. I'm like, guy, I need some five billion somewhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to get it. Mm. And then after like two hours, we get a deal. I'm like, you, this is a miracle. Yeah. This is not, you get, as, yeah. as in sometimes mm. some things, how they unfold, I can't explain it. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I, I love how you speak you, uh, to the different components that really make Aziad, Aziad. Yeah. You know, you've mentioned a team of 11 people, plus yourself, 12. Yeah. <laughs> you've mentioned God. I, and you've mentioned how much work you put in. Let me tell you, uh, last year we were shooting our film, Click, Click, Bang. Every time I'd be driving to work, it would be really early in the morning and I'd hear a voice on radio. Mm -hmm. And you know, I wasn't paying attention. Then towards the end of the week, Nico, wait a minute. I think I'm going to the whole week. I'm going to break. And I'm going to sledge. One of our editors. I'm going to sledge. I'm going to sledge, right? Yeah, I'm going to sledge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can't you, yeah. I think she's on radio. Is it five or six days a week? Um, Six days a week. Monday to Saturday. Do you have a life? life? <laughs> Oh my, I try to get a life. Because <laughs> I see you on radio every single day. Yes. And then there are gigs that come after. Oh, yes. What does your day look like? Whew, okay. A, a normal day where I'm not doing any other thing or a normal busy day. Because, okay, a let me tell you day. a normal day. Mm -hmm. A normal day, um, I wake up at like four. It depends. Okay. If that week I've decided I'm working out in the morning, yeah. I'll wake up at 3.30. Right. So I can work out for one hour. By 4.30, I'm done. Okay. Shower, get picked up by five, go to work. Right. That is if I've decided to work out. If I've not decided to work out, mm -hmm. then I just wake up at like 4.30, 4.40, shower, get picked right. up at 5, head to work by like 5.15, 5.20, mm -hmm. I'm at work, do my right. prep, get in from 6 mm -hmm. till 10. Mm -hmm. Now, on a day that I'm not doing anything, I'll get to work till ni Malisa job 10. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I'll just go home and sleep <laughs> and um, watch movies. I, I love sleeping. When I'm not doing things, good. so I'll sleep. Mm -hmm. I wake up. I eat, or I love cooking. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can cook something if okay. I'm in the mood. If not, right. I'll just order in. Right. Point is, it's just a lazy day. Right. Out of 365 days, I get like 20 of those days. They're not a lot. <laughs> I get like 20 or 30 of those days, <sighs> which I treasure. Yeah, I can now, imagine. If it's a crazy day, mm -hmm. it can be a crazy day. Yeah. Let me give you an example of when I was shooting the the odd pair, mm -hmm. the film that I just did. It aired on Maisha Magic. Right. So I'd finish work by ten. Mm -hmm. Once I'm done with work by ten, I go to set from eleven. Right. When I get to set from eleven, it depends. Mm -hmm. If I'm shooting something a client, there's a day your client from eleven back at like two, mm -hmm. and then now I go on set. Right. Sometimes I get back home at like one or two, and then and I have to wake up at four. four. So I don't even, I had my friend over and she was like, Utakula. I'm like, um, no, I think I'm just going to shower and wait and wait to go to work. So yeah, I get yeah. those days where I, yeah. I sleep two hours or three hours yeah. a day. It just depends because sometimes you don't have any public appearances, you don't have any shoot. Sometimes you have to binge shoot the content. I'm going to content a client and I'll shoot. And you know how shooting is. Yeah. It depends yeah. on the days. It can take you 30 minutes or mm. an hour or five. Yeah. Yeah. We took eight hours shooting it. 
long story so, so shida ilikuwa kiswahili ama shida ilikuwa video shida, unajua umesema shida ilikuwa kiswahili <laughs> shida ilikuwa gani shida ilikuwa kila kitu shida ilikuwa mimi shida ilikuwa maneno shida ilikuwa kiswahili shida ilikuwa shida ilikuwa vitu mingi <laughs> right, it was right, one of those days right. so i think it definitely it, de- it depends on the days but yeah that's 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 how my typical day and here we are as a public um thinking that you get these things on a silver platter. Oh yes. Oh yes, you shame just wake up and boom. Oh shame. shame Huge shame. <laughs> wow 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 wow. Mtu yangu. Yes. Si mbona una sponsor? Hiyo kazi ni ngumu mtu yangu. Si si rahisi. Si rahisi. Si rahisi. Kupata sponsor ama kufanya kazi. We Eh, kufanya kazi. Kufanya kazi. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, sponsor yeah. wanatolewa ngapi? You know me hear people say oh, so you sponsor. Niko leo wanatolewa Miss Jai Munipeko. Kwa sababu sema nipeko. Ko nyenyekevu, ko ya kuomba, ko ya heshima, ko ya adabu. Kwa ni mlio na utumie ko au si mlio. Mlio lazima utumie ko. Ah. Obegray. Imagine this. Imagine this me feel ni pe maji. That's so rude. Ah. Fili peko, peko maji. Ko ya adabu, nyenyekevu, heshima, mm. ya kiitishu. Mm-hmm. Ah, muhimu Aya, sana. Ni muhimu. Ko ni muhimu. <laughs> sure. Why? Why do you work that hard? I think because um Do you know there's something this beauty in uh, or rather there's satisfaction in getting money that is from your sweat. Yeah. Oh, I sleep well knowing that I've made that 50 bob. Mhm working hard i mean mm. i've worked my mm-hmm. hair off mm-hmm. but <laughs> it's it's mine yeah. no one gave it to me right. i think i'm that kind of a person because i i am scared to beg right. oh i do not know how to beg at this juni ang naomba uni sisi umetoka kutfunza kupeko hiyo hiyo ni hiyo iko sawa okay i think i have a problem with begging and right. asking so i never want to put myself in that position so i go out there and do the things for myself right. i get myself what i want so i put in the hard work and the effort because i know where i want to get i am i am getting there mm-hmm. but i have a long way to go so i have okay. a lot of work to put in right so i have to do it there's no shortcut mm-hmm. wow um i mean you have crazy days eh, and that means that sometimes you have to make s- certain hard decisions of course decisions that impact your life a lot and what's the hardest decision you've ever had to make like there was something that was good for you mm-hmm. but ilibidi tu atilie ju ungeenda naye utaribu work si side ingine utaribu work si side ingine something something <laughs> i'm trying to was... think <laughs> of course i've had a lot mm. but i'm trying to think about the a specific one niko na gani Unaweza fikiria? Ah, Peter, hiyo siku ulisikia kumnyoa nyoyo. Hiyo siku ulikuwa umejam. Ungemnyoa eyebrows. Unaweza fikiria? Akisifikiri iko. Akisifikiri yako. Acha nitafikiri yako tukiendelea. Let me think about it. Oh my goodness. I uh, something you touched on uh, working out. Yeah. How is that? How important is that to you? And where does that come from? Ama ni kitu tu na ngawa watu wanapost online so lazima to work out. Z, yeah. let me tell you. My mom is a medic. You've oh, seen her. Yes. Ooh. Yes. She's careful about what she eats. She's yeah. ca- she's careful about how she sleeps. Mm-hmm. She works out. She walks for 30 kilometers up on me kwa kutembea. I'm like no. We go for vacations <laughs> with her and atuamsha na sister ngati twende tutembe. Surely we are out here to to vacate. We are not <laughs> <laughs> vacate. We're out here to vacate. We're not out here to work. I think um <laughs> as days go by you realize that your health is important as an individual. I yeah, think that is my yeah. core point. Yeah. Um my health is important. Mm-hmm. Nowadays we're taking in crazy things. Right. Uko shoot wezi pika umeoda sijui nini kwa na mafuta sijui na kaje before yeah. you know it. Right. Yeah, so right. health is important for health right. reasons right. just to make sure that um yeah, I am healthy. Okay. Yeah. Th- there's a side of you and that is what I've been really curious about and mm-hmm. that's why I asked you to come here. The um, because I totally believe for you to achieve the levels of success you're achieving and for you to maintain your brand at the height you're maintaining it. Mm-hmm. One is a have a team and you mentioned you have a team of like 11 people but basically understanding the business side of what you do. Of you turning yourself from being an entertainer to a businesswoman oh, yes. to a business lady how has that transition been like for you what have you had to learn that you are like ah, i'm i don't want to adult anymore now Sheesh. <laughs> i've had to learn a lot of things mm-hmm. um <laughs> mm-hmm. i think one of the things that i've learned is sometimes it's never that personal 
it's just business it's never that personal mm-hmm. it's just business mm-hmm. so so zingine katufu two feelings to ako kando kawanda alikuwa na nabebo mama put your feelings aside <laughs> which at the end of the day, I, i think it's a it's a bit of truth mm-hmm. your feelings matter they're important yeah. but sometimes when you're trading with other things mm-hmm. like ako tutu feelings kando kidogo because this is business right. See, sometimes i'm sure you've had to do that oh right? I, a lot I, of times right? a lot of times a yeah. lot of times You know, there are projects where you do these are passion projects you enjoy you love them and then there are projects you're like yeah this one i'm just doing for the bills yes but ni sawa to inabidi do it is the world we're living in and i think um as a i've 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 also learned that have i've always been an individual who is comfortable in my cocoon i'll mm-hmm. do things that favor me i'll do things that just are around me if it's research things are around me mm-hmm. i will not think outside the box or rather as in if it does not concern me it does not bother me mm-hmm. i mind my business a lot right. but i think this is one thing that has taught me that oh you need to research you need to see who's doing what to learn mm-hmm. from that mm-hmm. that is taken that has really taken me outside my right. comfort zone and i don't like it yeah but yeah. you have to do it, have to do it. <laughs> and i think also just having a team behind me mm-hmm. who are ready <clears throat> and hands on to help me with these things has made it a lot easier are you hands on with the finances like understanding how they are being split and spent and yes exactly yeah, yeah. and also i have a financial advisor who helps mm-hmm. me okay in a five fanya this month you mm-hmm. you need to save this you need to do this this mm-hmm. money needs to so right. yeah because those are things i would definitely not do on my own right. oh no i would right. not Right. Eh manze make sure me maintain to skupata siku moja ukiwa wale wasanii wanasema kuna pay bill hapa. Amen. No, amen, amen. manze. Amen. I love Because that. I I think we blame those people a lot. Mm. Sometimes you just never know. Life is life. Life is life. Life true, is life. True. People go from grace to grass. Yeah. But simply because you are privileged or mm. you are a point of or you have it you'll never understand mtu anaweza kujipanga vizuri kabisa upate siju nani alikuwa mgonjwa siju nini ka happen pesa ikaenda no no jikazi yetu usanii and like um being a musician or an artist this month you have a gig next month you don't this month you're earning 100 bob next month you're earning 20 bob before you know things come and it's crazy so kusema tu we pray to god yeah yeah oh for sure man you know i can't really put my finger on it so sh- how should we know you should we know you as a dancer should we know you as an actress should we know you as a radio host man you do like everything oh yes like what's what's the one gig that you enjoy the most oh i'm a jack of all trades okay i love radio you know why mm-hmm. because i can play with my voice without you seeing my face mm. i love radio and i've always loved radio because um i didn't know i could do radio till i think in form 3 from form 2 Okay. When my teachers insisted and they were like, "Oh, you need to um work on your voice more. You were good. You need to do so." Even though I was just all of us is nne. Wow. Yeah, because of my voice. So I think that right. is when I started developing an interest of radio, mm. for radio, and mm. I love radio. I definitely love. It. And I love acting mm-hmm. because you get to play different roles, different characters. You get to tell people's different stories, yeah. bring characters to life. I definitely love acting. Am I a dancer? No. I just enjoy dancing. Okay. I'm okay. not a professional dancer. Mm. I've never been. I just mm. dance for fun. Right. It's just a it's just how um the people who play golf for fun. Yeah. The people yeah, who work sure. like have um five you need to five to eight. Eight mm. to five. Yo. Yo, you know tambui is of it. Sitambui. Yeah. They they have an eight to five job yeah. and like they work um mm. the whole week but then mm. Saturday and Sunday they play golf. Right. So my golf is dancing. I love dancing. But I'm not a dancer. Who's your who's the actress you love the most? Viola love. Davis. Viola Davis. Oh, I love Viola okay. Davis like no if there's somebody I want to meet is that one. Uh, yeah. It will happen. Amen, it will. If you are to cast yourself in a film that has had huge success, which role would you have cast? How to yourself? get away with murder? <laughs> I want to hide a dead body. Guy no. Your jokes. I'm doing jokes. Ah. <laughs> uh, <Me> jokes. Uh, <laughs> yo. Okay that was right here that was, was right here. here Oh it was here <laughs> right. I think it just it's just crazy or right? it just it's just fascinating mm-hmm. how they get those lines mm-hmm. and they know everything mm-hmm. and they quote guy it's crazy it's I crazy. don't want to do that Okay I I'm curious uh, why una just as up me trigger my director's mind because <laughs> at the end of the day I'm a filmmaker so when you talk about acting and I've seen you on, on Selena yeah. and you actually made me answer 
a question that has been asked a lot mm -hmm. out here nowadays you know you'll get these actors who will say oh feel you know don't always look at social media numbers when you're casting people mm -hmm. because sometimes you know we are artists we are talented but you know mm -hmm. not the social media yeah. and i remember 2021 i think december <laughs> Nilizipata kwa SGR nikielekea coast and there was a family that was seated uh, mbele yangu mm -hmm. and like it was an entire family they had a meru accent so i assumed wametoka meru yeah. and mtu yangu vile like wamedunga sunday best mtu yangu wa kwadi juu ya high heels so Ish. i assumed yenyewe wametoka meru uh -huh. town <laughs> because of the accent yeah. and i don't know what they were talking about but it was the time you uh Uh, you had come out uh, with your struggles with acne mm -hmm. on your face yeah. and they started talking about it and they discussed you for 45 minutes for like 45 minutes <gasps> but then go up with you. and at that point i was like yeah i am if i'm going to be casting people i'm going to be looking at their social media numbers yeah. and at that point also i started being really because i'd never followed you yes uh, at that point i was like okay manze and was clearly wametoka Awajatoka Nairobi. Awajatoka Nairobi. <laughs> But the way they talked about it, it's like they know you. I was like, "Hey, there's something this chick is doing, right?" Yeah. And yeah, so anyway, you answered my question about casting people with social media numbers. Mm. Um, but how has that been? I feel like you've lived your life in the public limelight, you know, you know, acne is something that ladies really struggle with, yeah. you know, and for you just being really open about it. Yeah. Triangle, how was that for you? <laughs> Did Ooh. you get any backlash from that oh, as well? Oh, a lot of backlash. I a lot of na. backlash. Oh, a lot What of backlash. What do you want to do with that? I think <laughs> people are just... Anyway, yeah. I don't know. 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 I think um, people are battling a lot. Yeah. And because, you know, funny thing is mm. all of us mm -hmm. have our own problems yeah. all of us have our own problems we're yeah. not perfect yeah. we definitely have our flaws mm -hmm. but how many people can actually come and show their flaws on the camera very few people yeah. and mm -hmm. why did i decide to do that mm -hmm. it wasn't because of me mm -hmm. then i did not have any investment right. it was because of the people who follow me because yeah. people are like um as yet how do you battle with and i i think this is also another thing You find some of the time nenda nga live nikiwa na lines mm -hmm. ama sijui na kaje venye na takataka tu. <laughs> venye na takataka. And then you find somebody mm -hmm. screen recording that or taking that and be like ona venye na ka bila makeup and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm like no, I did not do that without knowing. Mm -hmm. I did that knowing because I don't want to lose the original as yet. That is me when I'm at home. So when I'm at home I will not come live or I will not do anything with makeup on unless I'm coming from a gig and I'm required to go online like that. I want mm. to show people that I'm comfortable in my own skin and yes I am mm -hmm. whether with acne whether without acne mm -hmm. and I think me doing that people came to learn okay I got acne oh and I can't have baby la makeup oh ni 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 there was all that backlash and whatever and mm -hmm. I'm like okay it definitely hurts because at the end of the day you're a human being yeah. but I'm like um if I had an option to cover it trust me I would you would never see me without makeup mm. If I wanted to I would but I don't want to because at the end of the day I'm a human being I'm a young girl a lot of young girls look up to me a lot of people are battling acne right. because you don't choose to have acne yeah. you don't wake up and decide you know what I'm going to put on these pimples on my face no right. a lot of people are battling these things and I do they do not know how to approach it they do not know how to treat it and they are being um attacked by the public when I had acne ungenda mahali mtana kuza umefanyia nini uso yako unashanga dani kwani niliamka nikafanyia kitu uso yangu Nezamka on purpose ni yamu ni fanye kiduzo yangu. And there are different reasons as to why different people have acne. Mm. Hormonal, mm. weather, allergies, mm -hmm. um reacting to certain ingredients in certain products. A lot of reasons and I feel like mm. if people are just educated enough around certain topics, mm. you'd stop being so quick to talk. Mm -hmm. At least do your research. I always say this, um argue with facts. Mm -hmm. Do not be ignorant. Make sure you at least tuko na google aki tuko na google ingeko tu google uangalie kidogo kabla uanze ku type vitu zingine una una just as ingine you make people question your iq so yeah i say that if there's something i am genuinely currently learning from gen z i have yeah. a lot of young people on my teams as well so manze i love how you guys are so open about your insecurities mm -hmm. you guys just talk about anything and everything yeah. We came up from a generation where you couldn't show your weaknesses yeah. and I am currently learning to 
to be vulnerable in front of people. Yeah. yeah you can I'm, cry, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. not 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 right now. <laughs> it's this fine. It's a safe space. It's a safe space. <laughs> Yo, I don't know how you guys do that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And and you know, just tying that to what you're doing, which is Zinaji, you know. Talk about that. Ooh. Yeah. That's cool. my baby. Uh-huh. Oh, not that one, but this one. <laughs> Yo, sips water. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What's an sendele na your topic? Nataka amalize hii nini? Amalize interview don't have walking <laughs> wow. out. Mm, but um <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, um let's go back to 20 mm. 2018. Right. I'm creating content. Yeah. Do I know what I'm doing? I I don't really know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I just have that phone. Don't mm-hmm. nearly and I can sing up on the Lugana that the Mato. Come back can you be in my YouTube video? He was like it's cool. Tukafanya okay. nini? Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa na edit juu na kaapka gani can you edit kako hapo? Right. It's not bad to me. It's not a problem. I mean <laughs> yeah. it's cool. Yeah. People begin from somewhere. I began yeah. from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um si kuko na ring light. Mm. I never used to have a ring light. I used right. to depend on natural lighting. At right. least my phone was not that bad, mm-hmm. but I used to depend on um, natural, natural lighting. lighting. Yeah. Pole, 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 the viral video came, mm-hmm. um, uh, clients came, jobs came, and now you realize you know what, you need to step up. Mm-hmm. You give a client a video, they're like, um, we feel like you should do this and this and this and this. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? You need to improve on your content. Quality, you need yeah. to improve on your quality. Mm-hmm. So these are things that I never learned in school. Mm-hmm. These are things that I am learning as we go by. My management is learning as we go by. It's like, okay, so, so in a fact, as in ikitu to me learn. Mm-hmm. to me learn the past few years mm-hmm. you learn okay na fanya book shawak na client you need to submit this report okay you need to do this for you to create relationships you need to do this for you to be able mm-hmm. to work with us or oh, you need to do a proposal all right you need to pitch you you get me there yeah. these things that yeah. we've been learning on the way right zinaji was born in 2022 mm-hmm. zinaji point limited right. and it was born because of all the struggles mm-hmm. and also because i have the urge to just educate mm-hmm. and also being a global ambassador for save our future initiative yeah. for education mm-hmm. um i was given that title in 2021 one, yeah. 20 1 2020 2021 and a lot of people are asking me as yet um you have all this money you're working with this brands mbona bado uko shule i'm like at the end of the day i'm not going to school for anybody right. i'm going to school for me right to broaden my knowledge to broaden my thinking to be a better person because i don't studying? think sorry to cut you short. what are you studying oh school? i did broadcast journalism oh broadcast okay yes. so, sorry to record na ita guy ah what nisiaribu nitaribu unajua unasoma mas you know what you must if you know you know si same video itapuliwa down but from the yeah anyway so um at the end of the day Learning is an amazing thing. Learning never stops. You learn something new every single day. Mm-hmm. And I think that is what Zinaji Point is all about. Right. Because I just want to learn. I want to impact people with this knowledge about content creation. We are on a mission to professionalize content creation. Mm-hmm. This is not a course that is taught in school. This is not a course that is taught in universities. Mm-hmm. These are things that people learn on their own. Wewe mm-hmm. umesoma film Yeah. As in kuna to mesoma film but you know film is it's not so different from content creation mm-hmm. but there are things that you never learn in school True. True. There are things that you do not learn from you have to learn these things as you go. True. I've been able or rather I've been privileged and I'm honored to have gotten through go, gone through that process mm-hmm. and with the little knowledge that I know mm-hmm. and the people around me know that is why I founded Zinaji Point right. um in 2022 to just mm-hmm. professionalize content creation teach content creators out there how do you create videos? How do you post them? Videos mm-hmm. gani za YouTube, videos gani za TikTok, gani za Instagram. Okay, una post sangapi? Mm-hmm. Do you know these platforms are different? Do mm-hmm. you know when you post this time on TikTok it's not going to work? Mm-hmm. Do you know Instagram likes this? Do you know if you post this on Instagram it's not going to work? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know when you're working with certain clients that things that will work for Twitter and the things that will not work for Twitter? Do you know there's content for Instagram and there's content for TikTok and there are different posting times? Do you know how to deal with clients? How do you take yourself from being a content creator who just does videos to building a name to be a brand how do you transition how do you oh. command a huge audience where do i sign up yo naskenika <laughs> you're sold <laughs> hey, 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 yo. so mm-hmm. basically just all these things and this is just like a tip of the iceberg 
Zinaji has its own team. Zinaji has a CEO. I'm the founder and I'm the board chair, but we have a, I'm, I'm working with an amazing team. Else, um, Odiambo is the CEO and we have Agape, we have Grace, we have Yobi, an amazing team be, be, behind Zinaji to just make sure that my vision is coming to life because I want to impact. And it is just so sad. Kuna story nilisikia the other day. That was in 2022. I was shooting a certain ad, a very big ad. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I met uno na watu extras. Yeah. I met one of the extras. Look on a big story. And this boy was like as nilifanya hii job nimefurahi. Ananionyesha job yenye amefanya. And this job ilikuwa a company big. I'm not going to mention it but it's a big company. Yeah. It is so sad that some of these companies take advantage or take some of these content creators for granted mm-hmm. simply because you do not know your value or your worth as an mm-hmm. individual. Right. And how do you know your value and your worth as an individual? When you get learned, when you allow yourself to learn different things, to know your value, to know unajua nini, ni kama nataka ku record video, na need lights, na need nini. So at your time at the end of the day when you're quoting to a client, you have an idea of what your value is. But the moment you do not know your value or rather the moment you're not learned, you're not equipped with these skills with this information with this knowledge then that is why clients or some companies will take you for granted uyo mvlana alifanya billboard i think it was across the country an advert that ran on youtube and also on tv for a year nataka ongeza liba how much atasta guess mtu yangu 30000 kenyan shillings no way 30 g's the company trust me that company is big it is a big company I have a point we start naming. Acha nisemeni top 3 companies in Kenya. Ah, uh, we need to start naming and shaming. Do 30k. Hey, what are to watch na TV see? What are to say to billboard? Um so usually the way for an artist the money is split into two. Mm-hmm. So there's money you paid for showing up for the yes. shoot because that's a craft mm-hmm. and then there's money you paid for using your image throughout the exactly. year. Exactly. And usually it's like 50-50. Mm-hmm. So um Sanel for 15k to shoot. Imagine lakalipo 15k for billboard yake kukua uh, wait what was up bro divide 15000 by 365 15000 by 365 5 you need one what ah shillings yo <laughs> i personally have turned down doing a lot of tvcs as a production company mm-hmm. Because my background is, I started off as an actor and yeah. as an artist, mm. and just because of that, I turned down. By the by UN standards, by global standards, mm. they say no human being should live under a dollar a day. Exactly. So you're paying this person forty-one shillings. Forty-one Kenyan shillings. And you know what the sad thing is? Yeah. Is that he was so happy. I think that is a sad thing. Because you think you were paid what you're worth. Now imagine if you were equipped with this knowledge, with this information, you know all these things. Then we would charge better. Then as content creators, we get to a point where by sisi wote tunajua, we know our craft very well. Tumesoma. No, no, ubani, people get to a point where wamepata 100,000 followers na 200,000 followers na you feel like you don't need to read anything mm. or to add something to your life. And that is where you go wrong. You, you remember that video? That's yeah, where you go wrong. wrong. Because nowadays anyone can have numbers. Mm. And you know funny thing is I know friends of mine who have like 20,000 followers. Yeah. And these people get lot of money talking about when you're going to half million. Uh, by the way abuni ambie ju mimi clearly. Yeah, hiyo kitu inanisumbua. Imagine mtu ako na 20k followers <laughs> lakini ju amejijenga information mm. ako nayo yeah. venye ame build brand yake ndo akienda kwa clients. Clients take you more seriously than another person. Right. That is why utapata kuna mtu mwenye alipo sijui pesa ngapi na campaign unalipa pesa nyingine unaanza kukasirika hapo unasema mbona ako na numbers kidogo no, no. ameji brand. brand anajua sana yake anajua craft yake anajua how to deal with clients anajua how to write reports and everything you know at the end of the day people think content creation is just putting up a camera and just nining there's mm-hmm. a lot of back things that go behind that do you have a management okay you're just starting out maybe you feel like it's going to be a lot okay you can get a big brother or an uncle who at least has an idea with mm. things to do with the business mm. who can represent you because some of these meetings ukienda <clears throat> inadipa client client ukubeba na venye unajibeba that's true mtu ukubeba na venye unajibeba so unajibeba aje a lot of people ask me oh my as yet how do you manage to work with global brands how have you worked with these brands for this years it's how you carry yourself and mm. i think zinaji is 
that is what Zinaji has come to do. Because I can't answer all these questions in a life. Yeah. I cannot answer all these questions in a video. We acta to kianza kongelio topic size the hado tamaliza. Yeah. And because this is not a course that is taught in school, that is why <laughs> Zinaji is here to just professionalize content creation. And it has a team of its own, and uh, we have board members. Mm. And I'm just open to work with uh, different uh, people in different sectors, different partners in different places to just bring Zinaji's objectives to life, mm. because. I just want the young generation to learn. I just don't want people to be taken advantage of. Nataka to figure point yenye kama content creators, we're like you know what we are not taking anything before this. That is why as Zinaji we also have a club. Right. Um okay. yes, we're going to be having a club where people register for just a community to be there for each other and so far Zinaji has done two workshops. We had our very first workshop on yeah. April 1st mm -hmm. and it had a an attendance of around 60 to 70 people. Yeah. We had our second one in June and it had almost 120 people and uh, that was on blue. That was really nice and the content the the the, the master classes are just again to just learn mm -hmm. impact knowledge. We have um uh, panel discussions, people hungering. Hey, I was doing well. <laughs> Handling different topics <laughs> from finances to mental health. We go back to finances. Yeah. This week we yeah. have 10 bob. We yeah. come a content creator. What are you doing? You have to go to the club, have you have 8 bob, you have to go to the club, you have to So how do you manage your finances? We have mm. such topics. Right. Mental health, being on the social media space, being on the internet, you definitely need to make sure your mental health is... Perfecto. Oh, yeah. We're talking about mental health. We're talking about um, uh, content creation strategies. Mm -hmm. What strategies do you have as an individual? How mm -hmm. do you want your content to be? Trust me, content creation can be anything. Mm -hmm. It can be us sitting down here talking. To go out on your clean cemeteries as content creation. There are people who dance for real and a TikTok. I'll show you. <sighs> and and they make money. <laughs> TikTok is one of those apps. Yeah. Nimejikubali tu mimi niyeze. Also TikTok li ni make tu ni realize. I cannot define what content creation yeah. is. Yeah, after ni pate watu wako live wakiwa mtu wa kiesabu mchele. Imagine, mm. mtu analala. Mm. Anything is content. How <laughs> hey, do you plan? <laughs> hey, mtu analala na make do. Content can be anything. How do you just package yourself? Yeah. How do you just package yourself? Mm. And we've, we, we've gotten to that point where everything is moving to that right. side. Government ndo yu meingia content, yu meingia social media, ma hospitali ziko social media, watu wa braces ndo yu medicine, meno yiko social media. Everything is going there. So you might as well prepare yourself and be ready to be amongst the best. Kukua top layer. Lazima. Kukua top layer. Lazima kukua top layer ndo uchotu hivi vizuri. Because when... Oni mtuali enda boarding school ya Kenya. Ah, nili enda boarding school ya Kenya. Wewe, 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 wewe. Eh, kwani inakuwa ngani lazima walu ya wote wapia an example na chakula. Sasa tutafanya aje. Tutafanya. Manze. Tutumie nini? Eh, no. Like, ata on normal conversation, ata mkikasirika, but lo seme nita kupiga kofi, unasema nita kulamba kofi. Kasa siyele wangu. <laughs> What should we do? What should we do? Tuna wakubali tu. So yeah, 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 I think the beauty of learning, and I think that is what we need to be hungry for, mm. to better yourself, right? Educate yourself right. again. Mimi zezi zamadi na mifika pili I know everything about. No, I I I know nothing. Right. That is why I'm open to learn. That is why I'm hungry to learn. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we normally have this uh, panel discussions. Mm -hmm. We have different people um, tackling different topics. Mm -hmm. We have questions. We have games. Mm -hmm. We have practicals. Now create the content. Now post it. Mm -hmm. And after that workshop, a lot of people. A lot, actually, we, in the workshop, we had people from the corporate um, uh, space, and yeah. they were asking, okay, when can we have now a corporate one? So we're going to wow. be having a, a corporate workshop on the 4th of August. And something big is cooking in October, a convention, Damn. where we want to bring all content creators from different places to just come together, and let's have a content creation festival. Let us learn, let us have fun, let us make content. You know, you just summarize what I've been learning for two decades about building a business in like 10 minutes. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, because, yeah, oh my God. First of all, uh, a quote I love by Warren Buffett is, mm. the more you learn, the more you earn. Oh, yes. The more you That, learn, the more you earn. That's what you're doing. Second thing you, you taught about business is, first of all, before you create a product, create a community. And that's what you started. You started by creating a community mm -hmm. of uh, ASEAN, funds and now you're leveraging on that community to build a product called Zinaji, the workshops and then you earn from it i am blown away oh, thank yes. you you're welcome <laughs> anytime and, i got you <laughs> and and i was listening to a podcast by 
some software engineer for Facebook, one of the guys who helped build Facebook. Mm -hmm. If I'm not wrong, I hope I'm not wrong. And he was saying with this digital revolution and a yeah, new revolution that's happening, uh, the first billionaires were made by hardware. You know, the guys who made the computers, the IBMs, mm -hmm. the Apples, the Microsofts. Yeah. And then the second wave of billionaires were came from building apps, mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter, yes. you know, uh, Tesla, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And they're saying now the third wave of this revolution is the next billionaires are going to be the content creators. Amen. And I, it's going to be we. And I totally see you there because Amen. you're moving and sounding and talking like a proper businessman. I am genuinely impressed. <laughs> I have you. never seen this side of us yet. I'm genuinely yes. impressed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the yeah. side that um, people don't get to see a lot. Yeah. Yes. Only the important people. Only the Who are you? And you. Wait, fungeni kipindi bana. I mean, important sawa ni shay to important. No, no, no. Yeah, but, I think the people that matter. Um, yeah. 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 What inspires you? What gets you up every day? Oh, my morning? dreams, my mm, goals, mm. the things I want to achieve, right. my vision. What are some of your goals? The ones that you can mention. The ones that I can mention. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to sleep for a week. Okay, guy, I'm kidding. No. Okay, that's true, though. No. I, that is a vision and a goal. Please. That is a vision and a yeah. goal. I want to be able to sleep for a week without doing nothing. I want to take a leave for a whole year. I want to travel for a whole year. That's yours? One day, yes. Me too. You yeah. know, one one of mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want to go and see the Titanic. <laughs> but, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I definitely want to travel mm -hmm. on sea. Um, for like a month or two or six months. You don't get seasick, but any. Mm -hmm. Yes, on like this Caribbean cruises, mm. not, not the Caribbean, like the cruises where mm. there's like everything in mm. one. Yeah. Yes, I want to do that. Okay, let's get serious. I have a lot of... Um... No, let me tell you, taking a break and leaving is, is equally important. Equally important. Uh, yeah, so I have had a crazy schedule, just like for almost two decades yeah. of my life. To date, when I am free on a weekend, I don't know what to do. <laughs> because Ooh. I've never really had a yeah. social life and now I'm beginning to learn how to actually live because why are, we, why are we working, why are we so, working hard? so hard? Yeah. You'll die, you'll leave all that money behind. Mm -hmm. I force it sometimes. Yeah. I just ghost everyone. I, I ghost Kawan and Tafta and Ibati. You have to force it. Vita. Yeah, but I see you travel a lot. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah. Just a... <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I travel a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think it's when I've, I've always wanted to travel a lot. Mm. Um, I've traveled a lot because of family. Yeah, few times because of work. Mm -hmm. And I think that is one thing that my parents have always wanted to do. Or that even my mom um, mm. is doing with my sister and just want. She she loves it when anakupeleka mahali pengi penye mtu haezi kupeleka kukuonesha kitu. I don't know if right. that makes sense. Yes, you are. Your, your Kiswahili will talk about it, but hey, but it makes sense. <laughs> <sense. laughs> you get me? Yeah. yeah so, I get you. yeah, she's also taking us to quite um, a lot of places. Mm. And I love traveling. Right. How I want to go to all the countries in the world. You're doing so many things at the same time, and you're learning so much at the same time. And yeah, there's online people coming after you all the time. So I feel like you split yourself in so many different mm -hmm. pieces and like how do you bring all these pieces to how do you base yourself like how mtu yangu mbona uja cheesy so far what's what makes you think i'm i'm sane oh yeah what makes you think i'm sane if you look at me do i look sane no wow surely yeah maybe you know i'm why? crazy maybe kuna support... spring <laughs> oh, because sane people don't make changes in the world only crazy people you need to be a you certain type of crazy, crazy. Sema, everyone is crazy mm. on the internet yeah. you need to be crazy mm -hmm. i think just grounding yourself mm -hmm. knowing yourself as an individual right. knowing what rules govern you knowing what govern you as an individual what do you stand for what do i stand for what are the things i can do what are the things i cannot do mm -hmm. also having god as my pillar and mm -hmm. someone that i go back to is very important because sometimes i'm just like at the end of the day and i say this a lot of the time because mm -hmm. i mean it and it happens i'm a living testimony let me tell you mm -hmm. i'm a living testimony i mean i could go on and on and on about the events but it's just that some of those things i definitely cannot share here yeah, but some sure. things happen and i'm like Aki si mimi. this is definitely god mm -hmm. and i feel like that is one person who's like been i don't even know if it's a he or a she or 
God has been there mm. for me, vibaya sana. Right. So even if all these things are happening, I just know, imagine everything will be okay. And funny thing, everything is always okay. And about the online people, I've come to realize that um, the people that matter do not care. The people yeah. that matter yeah. do not listen. Kuna siku nilijaribu tu kuangalia acha niangalia watu wenye anaongeanga vibaya na kaje. And you come to realize that hurt people hurt people. Yeah. That's for sure. Hurt people hurt people. Their heart. You're mm-hmm. projecting your insecurities. Mm-hmm. For example, the job that we got the other day. Mm-hmm. No one was happy that I got it. Yeah. No. Okay, few people were happy. Right. But most people were mad. Mhm. We lost it. Yeah. Then you were happy, you were rejoicing. What what did that get you? Did you get it now? Mm-hmm. Now that I lost it, did you get it? Right. Did you get money in your bank account? Mm-hmm. I think at the end of the day before you write or before you type whatever it is, just think. Yeah. Think. Think about it. Does that make you a better person? Does it add money to your bank account? What does it do to you? Why are we so hateful as a people? Why? I I can you man This is the experience I've had for 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 the longest time that I've been doing TV yeah. shows and films. Yeah. Anytime we do a TV show, by the Zote. Yeah. You put out the first episode, the first thing people do is hate. I've never understood. And you know funny thing is once you propel now to higher heights, yeah. they're going to be like, "Oni oh, where to?" Yeah. We definitely have people who love our art. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. But why is the first reaction always hate and backlash? Yeah. Can't you just see something nice and appreciate that? Yeah. Give that person their flowers. Right. You get me? And I feel like sometimes um don't you think that is the reason as to why your blessings are blocked? because we're busy carrying heavy hearts out here hating on Phil because of what hating on Asia because of what mm. you're mad you're mm. sad and then at the end of the day you want your blessings to be you want blessings you want to get that job yeah. how sometimes someone's tears bl- blocks your blessings yeah. so just mm. be kind mm. imagine for me it's always that time and moment and energy you spent hating on Asia you'd have spent that energy and time working you know on so yourself no ndio maana hizo blessings zikawa mtu yangu niko yeah. I, I, I think <laughs> I think I'm grateful and I'm honored to have such a powerful name mm-hmm. or other brand yeah that people feel the urge to climb on my back to just be relevant right right it's sad yeah. that you can't be relevant on your own i know the the, <laughs> the greatest form of uh flattery is imitation so you know oh, do yes. your thing do your thing Aziad ni jina ukweli mtu yangu jina imetoka wapi? Kimbona watu hudhani hiyo jina ni au mwongo. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I think like 70% places of 70% of the places I've gone to yeah. people are like okay sa jina yako ukweli ni I'm like Aziad. Okay jina yako ni Aziad. Ya ukweli. Mm. I'm like Aziad nasanya. That's my real name. Iko kwa ba certificate kwa You know nini ID yeah. kwa passport kwa kila mahali. That's my real name. Kuna jina zingine tu kipewa ile itabidi tu kwa mtu wa maana. <laughs> itabidi. Yeah. Itabidi. Yeah, just days kia jina Raila pale. Usha iske mtu mwingine aitwa Raila. Hata watu wamezaliwa kuna mwana aitwa Raila. Wacha hey, tena kwa watoto wenu Raila. Eh hapana wacha tubaki na mmoja. Huu mmoja ametusumbua wacha tubaki tu na yeye. Amen. I think I got what I wanted. I yeah. I I was so sure 100% sure that f- for everything that Azia is achieving mm-hmm. um she's learning a lot. She has a team behind her and her work ethic is beyond reproachable and you've just stamped that and thank yeah. you so much for coming because I really wanted people to see that side of you. Mm. And you've schooled me man. Thank you so much. Oh really? Um let me tell you the truth. Uh the, if there's one thing I'm loving about your generation is the, the, there's this theory we've always been told about 10,000 hours. You know, mm. you have to put in 10,000 hours before you become skillful at something and that's when it starts paying off. Mm-hmm. But I am slowly learning with your generation you can't take the 10,000 hours and cut it by half. Mm-hmm. Because there's a surplus of information for you guys. Yeah. You know, for us before if we needed to shoot any type of content i needed a crew a team of like 30 to 50 people mm. now you just take your phone and you do your thing so for me to set up a shoot like that it will take me months yes now you're just walking on the road take your phone and so i feel people can get there much faster yes. yeah so trust me i am learning and especially from where i sit i know entertainment and 
digital uh, economy is the way to go. Oh, so, yes. <laughs> so yes, I am learning a lot from you. So thank you. thank you. Yes, and I hope after that day, after you listening to me, Andrew, do you still listen to me? Do you? Okay, feel like I'm going to go to the next one. It's fine. You're Semo allowed. It's fine. You're allowed. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go Zina mixiwa umesikia of late? Mi, mi ni mtu wa local mi mtu ya. <laughs> Imagine tunachezanga local ziko zote mixed. Yeah. It is Pan African. It's, yeah. it's a Pan African station. Right. It's originally a Nigerian right. station. Yeah. So we play a lot of Nigerian yeah. music, South yeah. African music, right. Ugandan music, right. Tanzanian music and Kenyan music right. because it's Pan African. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Or oh, also pia ni kasi nanga option radio angle kata ku get station ingine. It's God telling you you must so you do <laughs> by yes, force by fire. By force by fire but yes I do listen to yes. you. Yeah. Almost yes. every morning. Every morning, amazing. In yeah. case you you wanna know, it's Sound City Radio. Mm-hmm. Um, every morning from 6 a.m. till 10 a.m. The WhatsApp two five on Sound City. Awesome. We karibu ni sahau. What's your obsession with shoes? The shoe game. Mtu yangu. Ulisema tu lize kiatu, literally. Tu lize kiatu, we kwanza na kutafuta. Nipatie wiki mbili, tatu. Yeah. Yeah. Una vya tuza kwa zimengara. Ah, mtu yangu. Taniza white. Mtu yangu, mini mtu wabata. Mina kisata sidumi uchukua tu kiatu. <laughs> you know, there's like something I respect. Mm-hmm. When I see a guy, mm-hmm. and I see your shoes are clean. Mm-hmm. You are a clean guy. I love to make it was zikwe white. Eh eh. Na kupea shema. Ah, ni za white umekuwa unatembea kweli huko nje? Abu abu ambie, ambie hawa watu wa crew. Juu ni kama wanankosea anga heshima sana nyingine. Please, msikia mimi ni mtu wa maana. For real. Ukikutana yeah. na mtu na kiatu yake ni safi. Yeah. Give that person respect. So yeah, shoe game, we've been doing shoe game yeah. um for a while. Shout yeah. out to Victor, kina Boni, kina Michelle. Mm-hmm. Um we've just taken a break to work on a few things here and yeah. there to just come back bigger and better. Where did that come from? Shoe game. Yeah, like um, what was the inspiration for that? The inspiration came from Victor and I mm-hmm. because we love shoes and we're like, okay, mm-hmm. what what is the unique way to do something and talk about shoes with celebrities that and talk about and talk and interview celebrities in a unique way? Right. Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Story yeah. Yeah. Alafu, viatu ilitoka pia kwa songa the band uliza kiatu. Yeah. Yeah. Shoes have a lot of stories. Right. Shoes tell a lot of stories. Kuna fact. interviews zingine tumepiga mtu anakambia hii kiatu ndo nilikuwa na tembe. Hii ndo kiatu ya kwanza nilinunua nikipata do. Wow. Hii ndo kiatu ya kwanza nilikuwa na tembe nayo nikienda job. Right. Shoes tell yeah. a lot of stories. Right. Unaweza rudia nguo, unaweza rudia nguo. It's mm. fine maybe unaweza isahau but shoes hiyo mm. ndo kitu unavaa. Okay. Ukivaa kiatu na kufinya utai feel all the way. Ukivaa kiatu ikutoshi utai feel all mm-hmm. the way. That's why anasema you don't know where the shoe fits. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you have to be in my shoe to fit. Huh? One you shoot those, that one. It fits oh, the yeah, shoe. Somewhere it, fit. <laughs> that, kuna, that kuna one. Shoe, na kuna na fit. Kuna fit. Somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for I having ta- me. Honestly, I don't take this for granted. Um, especially, okay, no, we shall not mention. Mm. But, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we are learning. And I hope if people request you to come again, you'll come again. Of course, I'll come again. Yeah. Thank you for having me. This has been yeah. amazing. Yeah. I've had fun. I don't yeah. think I've been this serious for a very long time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a joker, like 90. Okay, not 90%. 90%. Let's say like 70%. 70% but yeah, I'm honored. I'm grateful. Yeah. It's been nice awesome. having this chat with you. Ah. Yes. So, so, thank you guys for... Uh, Please and then you subscribe. By the way, you are now watch and I'm subscribe. Mshindwe sana. Please. Mshindwe. Eh, hey, subscribe. Abu ambi, ambi please. Mshindwe. Mm. Subscribe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe. Uh, so many nuggets to learn from. You're still shooting at Longon Place. Amazing apartments. Come check them out. Thank you so much, Azia, for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Wait. See you to fungayo class. <laughs>